Dave was drowning in hundreds of emails every single day and I gotta tell you, I hated opening up my computer in the morning. I just didn't know where to start and because of that, I didn't start at all. But now my inbox is clean, AI is drafting the emails for me and I just need to review them. I found an AI tool that gives me back about 30 minutes every day and I'm not gonna tell you that it saves me hours per day but it definitely saves me a lot of time and hassle. I'm not only gonna show you how to use the tool but why it matters to you and I'll share with you five different settings that 90% of users overlook. And the last trick that I'm gonna show you even had my colleagues ask me if I hired a personal assistant. If you go to this link, you'll get to the Fixer AI free pricing page. Fixer AI, as you can see, is your AI executive assistant. And the two main features that really stick out for me with this tool is the email tool, as well as the AI note taker. And I'll show you the power of them in a minute. I will show you how the sorting works with Fixer and how it adapts to your language style. Beyond that, I will show you the custom settings that I use to make this tool even more powerful. Everything that I'm doing in this video, I will do with the standard free tier because I'm currently on their free trial. Once you set up your account and log in, you see how much, how many days of the free trial you have left. The left hand side has the settings. It shows you the different integrations that you can set up, such as your CRM, for example, HubSpot or Salesforce, and you can also connect it to Zoom to act as your Zoom note taker. If you use it in an organization, you can see your team, you can, you can set up your domain and your organization here. The meetings tab right here shows you the upcoming meetings and your call recordings. We will cover that in a minute as well. Yes, this initial setup takes about five minutes, but once you see how much time it saves you, it is a no brainer. Once you've set it up and you connected your Gmail and your Google Calendar, your inbox will be organized automatically. So this is what my inbox looks like right now. As you can see, each one of these emails has a certain tag associated with it. Here's an email that I got from Fixer and it says FYI, which means for your information. The second tag that I have is to respond. So Fixer automatically detects if this email is important and if I need to respond to it. The third category is comment. The fourth category is notifications. The fifth is meeting updates, awaiting reply seven is action and eight is marketing. So a lot of these emails are marketing related emails. For example, if we go here, I'm subscribed to a newsletter and it categorizes it as marketing. Let's archive that. If you want to change any of these as important or needs re response, you can go on the top right corner and click on label as. And in this case, I need to uh, respond to this and I'm gonna select apply and it will recategorize it as to respond as you can see here. If you want to see all of the emails that you need to respond to that day, you click on to respond button and you see all of the categorized emails right here. Similarly, if you wanna just go into your notifications and you wanna browse what notifications you have, you can see that right there. And before I show you the power feature that drafts the responses for you, let me first show you how to customize your different tags. First click on settings, then click on preferences and you see all of the email categorization here. You can turn it on or off, but I usually keep it on just because this is a really powerful feature and you can see what you wanna show in your inbox. As we just saw, a lot of the marketing updates clutter up your inbox. So in order to make your inbox less cluttered, I usually take the meeting updates and the marketing updates out and I'm gonna click on update. If we now go back here and we go onto my regular inbox, my marketing emails from now on will not be included here anymore. If you want to see these again, then go back and uh, turn that button off again. Now to the exciting bit. As you can see here on, I got a video partnership proposal from Constantine it looks like. Let me click on that. So Constantine says, hey Mo, I hope you're doing well. My name is Constantine, I'm reaching out because I truly admire your engagement content. This person wants to sponsor one of my videos. And no worries, I talk with Constantine. He said it is all right to include him in this video. As you can see here, there is a draft in my inbox. This draft in my inbox has been generated by Fixer. So I am getting two options. The first option is says, hey, Constantine, I appreciate the kind words about the channel. I'm definitely interested in discussing a sponsorship opportunity. And the other option is, hey, Constantine, thanks for your kind words about my channel. Appreciate the offer. I'm not looking for sponsorship at the moment, but I appreciate your offer and keep in mind in the future. So I decide, do I want a sponsorship or not? And the email has already been drafted. So I just simply have to delete the top part and I do want the sponsorship. I go back here and I don't actually need to change anything about this. Maybe I'll ask. And then let's hit him with a cheers. And I can send it. As you can see here, I was able to respond to Constantine in just a minute and I did not have to draft any of the email. And I just had to choose which email did I like and then do I need to add anything or not? As you can see, this is super powerful. When you wake up in the morning, you just simply click on the to respond tab. You see exactly what's ahead of you on your schedule. I usually browse my FYIs. I click on comments and meeting updates uh, in the afternoon. 
And then if I do have time, I usually go through the marketing updates and see if, if any of these need my attention. The categorization alone is super powerful, but the auto reply, auto draft feature saves me a lot of time. And it even works on your Gmail app on your phone. So you don't need to draft super long emails when you're on the go. But now to the next feature that's also super powerful, and that is the AI note taker. Imagine having to never take meeting notes again and your software just updates your whole team that was part of the meeting about the updates of the meeting and the action items right after you're done with the meeting. Let's try out the note taker. On the Fixer, Fixer tab, you can see that Fixer automatically looks at your calendar and it sees what is on your calendar for today. In this example, I, I set up a demo meeting right here and I'm gonna join them. You can see in the bottom right corner that someone wants to join the call and this is most note taker. Let's take a look and let's admit it. This note taker is the Fixer note taker. In the meantime, let me just join here with my other account and I've joined with my second Google account and we can see here in the top left corner that Fixer AI is taking notes. So here are the three things that our AI note taker will do. The first thing is it will record the call. So you will have the whole transcript and the video ready if you wanna share this with your team or you want to take a, a look at how the meeting went. Let's say you're doing a sales training with your team. You can now review that footage. The second thing that the AI note taker will do is it will transcribe your meeting so you can search via text to see what it was said in the meeting. It will then also use AI to summarize that whole meeting. And the fourth thing that is super powerful is it will already draft an email to the team and participants of that meeting meeting, it will already tell them the action steps and what was uh, discussed in the meeting. A few things to note with this AI note taker is that you always need to let the other person know that there is an AI note taker in the call. Always ask for permission and if they're not okay with it, you can always kick the note taker out. The easiest way to kick out the note taker is by clicking on here, clicking on the three um, dots and saying remove from call or you can click on the participants and clicking on the most note taker and say select, select uh, remove from call. So if any of your participants ever don't agree to having a note taker on it, always remove them, please. Let me end this call and show you how the notes look like that Fixer AI is writing for you. While the call that we were just in is still being processed, let me show you a call that I was in uh, recently. As we can see here, this is what it looks like. Here I was in a meeting with someone and I can just simply click on the start button and you will see the meeting recording as it happened. You see the talking time between the different participants, me versus another person, you see the speaker time timeline as um, over time and you can see the summary here with the key points with the next steps and uh, you have the whole transcript here as well with specific timestamps if you want to share this you click simply can select these three dots and you can share it with the original meeting participant. Before we wrap this video up, I need to show you the power settings that you need to implement in order to get the most out of your tool. As we already talked about, these are the email categorizations. Adjust them to your liking and deselect the ones that you do not want in your inbox. The second thing that you can add is email rules. If you want specific people that email you to always end up in your to respond list, for example, your boss or an, an important client, then you can add them here or you can even um, add them to different inboxes as well. You can also add alternative emails and you can make sure to enable the drafts in order to get the draft messages in your Gmail inbox. You can add your custom signature so that your auto drafts is already including the signature. You can change the styling of the draft response with the different fonts, the font size, the color. Another cool feature is the follow-up feature. If we go back to my inbox, we can see here that there's an awaiting reply and this will remind me after three days in this case I set it to three days to follow up with a person if they haven't responded to me for calendar drafts if someone asks you to meet up let's say tomorrow or the day after you can enter your Calendly scheduling link or another scheduling link right here and this will be shared with the candidate in the drafts folder so you don't need to find that every single time you can select your time zone and your calendar can link up to when you're available and lastly here are the meeting note taking settings i've said it to uh, be part of all of the meetings but you can specify this and if you don't want this to join your meeting automatically simply select none and if you're wondering is this secure the answer is you need to check with uh, your work if you're allowed to use this if your it department says this is not safe and there it goes against company policy 
obviously don't use it. If you want to use it personally, it is uh, ISO 27001 and GDPR as well as SOC 2 and HIPAA compliant, which means that they are very serious about the security and how they treat the data. They have siloed the data. They have sworn that it is monitored 24 seven. It is not used to train ChatGPT data. However, it is being sent to large language models. So if you have any concerns about ChatGPT or Claude having your access to your data, then obviously don't use this tool. However, if you're not dealing with super sensitive information and you're using this for personal use, you should be good to use it. If you made it until this point, you are a trooper. I hope that you learned something from this video. Leave a like if you want to support this channel and a comment if you have something interesting to share. I cover AI automations for businesses to be more productive and make more money. Subscribe if you're into that. And if not, then I won't see you in the next one.